Goat is coming up on a pack of three cars. Socket a Honda Chase Cooper and Klein Bettner. He's just at the fastest lap of the practice session. Is he going to hit one of the three cars? No, he is not. He's just going to slam into the wall. Absolute hard hit, ladies and gentlemen. My voice sounds like crap, but I'm back to NASCAR Racing 2003 season, at least. Yay! What's up, peeps? It's Hannah Fuda. We're back in. The goat is not on the pole. This might be some hope for us today, then. John Speed is on pole instead here at the Glen. The place where you don't turn left four times. You turn right and right and left and right and right and left and left and right and right and left and... Um, uh, right? I don't care. Brendan Reed starts next to John Speed today. We got we got I Hidaka, Derek Hamill, Steve Morgan, Klein, Bettner, Bob and Flo with Jackson Carter Jr. for Carl and Eric Monica Snaka Honda Harrison McAls. I'm spitting on my microphone and my screen right now. But at least we got the pop filter, so yay, we got Riley Spurley, Bob Smith, Matthew Flanagan, David Weiss, Miller, Ryan Herman, Alpha Fawcett, Jones, RJ Sherry, Julia Dyer, Isaac Carter, Clive Winters, Zami Fatami, Mommy Fatami, Rupert Weiss, Miller, Alexa, now, blah. wait a second. I think we've missed someone. Oh, look, it was the goat. Starting in 11th. Now, where were we? I don't know, maybe I should have been. No. Alex Tommy, Rupert Weiss, Miller, Mommy Fatami, Alexander Cornish, Brian Barker, Kyle Mess, Patrick Smith, Roy Fairman, er Evan Rudd. Tony Brown, Zach Mills, Chase Cooper, Constantine Von Bard, Levin and running out the field. Uh, no, well, not actually running out the field. It's a lot. Chase McDowell and James Saunders and running out the field. Actually, well, Adam McDowell and Edward Thompson. And, yeah. Corning. Corning. I think they meant to say Kerning. I, I, I don't know what Corning is. I guess it's something about corn. Maybe it has to do with Cornwall. Or Alexander Cornish, maybe even. Yeah, I don't know. The green flag is that we are underway here at the Glen. A lovely start from everybody involved. Oh my days, here comes the GOAT on the inside line. Just, just, uh, uh, okay, well, managing quite a few positions there. He's, he's gonna make it three wide. He almost made it three wide. He's gonna make it three wide with Reed and Hidaki. He's gonna try to get past both of them. Heading through the S's here. He's going to nail that. Absolute stuff. Overtakes of the week from the GOAT. Oh, it's, it's not very common that um, he actually makes a good overtake. So, usually when he does, we have to include it in overtakes of the week. There he goes by John Speed trying to get by him. Here they go into the inner loop, the bus stop, whatever you want to call it. The GOAT's not going to be able to get past him. And uh, Ahidak is really putting the pressure on him. She's right on his tail. So, uh, he's going to be pressed for stuff and things. Um, yeah. Life is good at the back of the field so far. Absolutely fantastic. Here comes Fur Carlin trying to get by Socket to Honda. That's the most interesting thing that's happened all day. That's hardly true. There's uh, the GOAT still trying to get by John Speed. He's got the inside line through the final turn. He's going to get by him. John Speed better line drew to turn there the goat struggling to get past him and he hasn't done it drag race to the line the goat just barely beat him and he takes the lead he files in front so that was some pretty lovely stuff from the goat we could add that to overtakes of the week as well 
but John Speed is definitely not going to want to give up the lead without a fight here. Here come Derek Camel and I. He's not going to use two fighting for position. Brendan Reed's right behind, watching it all unfold. He could be looking to get into third place past both Hamill and Hidaka. There's the. There's Steve Morgan in 6th place. Jackson Dakota Jr. is 7th. Clive, Clive, Clive? Clive Bentner 8th. Bob and Flo in 9th. And Saki and Hana 10th. Yes, 10th. Where's Clive Winters anyways? Actual Clive. There he is. So that's cool. Where is Alexander Cornish? There he is. Oh, and he's being spun by Tony Brown and into the sand through the inner loop. That's dirty. From Tony Brown, Edward Thompson, and Chase McDowell going really wide there for some reason. Artificial stupidity at its finest. Alexander Cornish doing some pirouettes on the sand. Wow, this guy would have done a better job than Chen at figure skating in the Olympics. <sighs> so, we start lap 3 of 9, and the goat's in the lead. Oh, that's great. He's got the fastest lap. A bunch of faster laps coming in right now as we start lap three. Uh, John Speed second fastest. Then Derek Camel, Sakata Honda, Brendan Reed. Which reminds me, where's Brendan Reed? Brendan Reed is in front of Ahidaki, so he's probably going to be trying to get by Derek Camel as well. There's quite a, quite a bit of space between them. I feel like I keep saying the same words over and over again in all my videos. And there's no variety. For Carlin is sixth fastest. Then Bob and Flobo. Someone. No, Jackson Carter Jr., Royce Fairman, and Klein Bettner. Yay. A lot of guys have that just nip it of space and things. Let's see if there are any more shenanigans through the inner loop. Does not appear to be so. Yeah, Tony Brown. I see you. You watch yourself. You watch yourself. Fight between Harrison McGowles and David Weissmuller, and perhaps even uh, Bosmith as well, and R.J. Sherry even. These guys are too, you know, too abreast. David Weissmuller, Harrison McGowles, right there. Who's going to make it to the line first? Is uh, <coughs> well, Harrison McGowles is being scored as 14th. He's going to hold that position, I think. That's absolutely fantastic. Where's it's getting pretty boring. Here comes Sakata Honda by Jackson Carter Jr. for 7th place. Not 7th place, 8th place. I must be smoking something really strong. It's probably the smell of laundry stuff that's in the house for some reason. And that's overtakes of the week for Sakata Honda. That's fantastic stuff. I need to calm down the clapping. Here comes for Colin as well. She's, is she going to make overtakes of the week as well? Through the inner loop, is there going to be any more shenanigans? Bob and Flo and Jackson Carter Jr. Bit of contact, and I think for Colin has just managed to get by. Yeah, yeah, Jackson Carter Jr. is falling out of line. Overtakes of the week for Fur Carlin. We're going to give Bob and Flo the nod too because he's Bob and Flo. It's not getting a Honda slowing down a bit there. Absolutely no idea why. Here comes Eric Monica trying to get by Jackson Carter Jr. on the outside. He's got to deal with Riley Spurley as well. There are Harrison McGowan and David Weissmuller from earlier, uh, doing stumping and stumping and things and shorts or whatever. Life is good. Life is good. Jackson Carter Jr. not been passed anymore. We're gonna make Jackson Carter Jr. the uh, passing boy just for the lulls. It hurts, I know, but them's the bricks, Jackson Carter Jr. Uh, but uh, ooh, Ryan Herman and Brian Barker side by side through this patch of the track there. Oh, bit of contact. Julia Dyer gets sent through the... Oh, dear. That's uh, that's a bit of contact. That's Alfred Foster Jones in the sand. Yeah, he's going to hit the wall. Ooh, there. Oh, Patrick Smith taking us well into the tire wall. Uh, Tony Brown nudging Alfred Foster Jones on the rear end. And that's a caution out. We'll have to take a look at that again. That's... Yeah. Mm. 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 Who do I think I am? Sage Master 15? Uh, Ryan Herman going a bit too hard into the corner, or Julia Dyer breaking too much. But uh, Herman says Dyer in c cutting the corner. Alfred Foster Jones gets sent into the sand. He hits the uh, ball there and rejoins right into the path of Patrick Smith, who gets himself sent in 
to the tire wall. Tony Brown smacking into Alfred Fawcett Jones on the rear end. And uh, Zach Mills is falling behind. And where's, where's Alexander Cornish? Where's this guy gone? There he is. He's right behind the goat. See, these guys are going to have to be racing back to the caution. Bit of damage on the goat's left side, typical. Um, Derek Campbell actually looking to lose a few positions there. He's, he's, he's let Steve Morgan and high. I, high. Matt! Uh, he did not get by. <laughs> Matt! That's funny. If you try to tell me that's not funny, get out. I'm just kidding you guys, don't, don't get out. So, we're in a caution. Four laps to go. Goat's leading. And, uh, lock it up the tires. <sighs> I should have had coffee. Ooh, Alexander Cornish nudging him on the rear end. Oh, that's John Speed around. He's gonna, uh, well, no, he's, he's gonna be... We're gonna have to give him... Oh, what, what's, what's going wrong with the goat? up to the goat now. Taken out by Alexander Cornish. Nasty. Well, not really. Probably had a good reason. If future me edited that in, then I am awesome. You know, everything may not be awesome, but at least I am. Thanks, Prussia. Whatever. Cautions are a thing to be fast-forwarded through, so deal with it. The goat's gonna head into the pits along with Alexander Cornish. Is anybody else going to join him? They've got a pit for fuel, so uh, I don't know what they're doing. Artificial stupidity at its finest, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. Is everybody that stupid? I think everybody's that stupid. Ooh, my, uh, that's that's Tommy for Tommy going in. And that uh, Jackson Carter Jr., Chase McDowell, and Tony Brown. That's that's cool. Alfred Fawcett Jones hood went to being up to being back down. Must be so. Oh, there it is. Wow, great game, guys. Very realistic. I was not sure if we were going to... Oh, oh, nope. Oh, the lights are out on the pace car. So, we'll restart. Hopefully, we'll have a green-white checker. Two laps to go. John Speed will be leading the pack. Brendan Reed, I, Hidaka, Steve Morgan, Derek Camel, Clyde Bender, Sakata Honda, Bobby Flo with Jackson Carter Jr., and Burr Carlin. You're a top ten when that... Oh, course. We're green again here at Watkins Glen. Hopefully the next lap by is a white instead of a yellow. Steve Morgan and Derek Campbell electing to go to the inside line. Brendan Reed also trying to do the same. Slow into turn one. Don't want to have any more incidents. Brendan Reed's got the inside line. But, uh, well, John Speed looks to have gotten in front of both of them, and now... Aye, Hidak is in a bit of an awkward spot, I say, as she leaves Steve Morgan into an awkward spot. That's fair play to you. Steve Morgan and I, Hidak is side by side. Let's see who gets in front through the inner loop. It's going to be Steve Morgan. Huh. Ooh, you see Brendan Reed uh, get a bit of uh, bumpy, st bumpy thing, bump, go over a bump. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going. Cr I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I. I uh, 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 uh. Wow. How far the goat has fallen from grace. Ooh, there he goes over a bump too. His. He looks like he has about as much control over that car as a 15-year-old has over the kid he's babysitting. Oh my days, John Speed is heading in. Oh my days, everybody's heading into the pits. Artifit, oh my days, that's Brendan Reed around. And uh, Steve Morgan absolutely taken out. Tire wall of death. We'll take a look at that again. What went wrong there, everybody? Artificial stupidity. Artificial stupidity. No other explanation. 
None. None. Nothing else. Nothing. No. 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 Just a few inches off into the wall. Steve Morgan taking him out as well. Well, not really. But Brendan Reed's race is over, and ooh, there's some guys staying out actually. Not least of which, uh, up, oh, up, Chase McDowell. Chase McDowell's gonna have the lead, isn't he? I think he's gonna have the lead. Oh my days! There goes the goats. It's gonna be quite the job for the goat to try and catch up to Chase McDowell. Chase McDowell is. Had a lucky race, that's all. He's, well, not really been noticed at all. There's the goat. I don't think the goat's going to be able to catch him. Chase McDowell's actually got the ninth fastest lap, and uh, he's being scored as fifth, but that's because of all the whole pit road stuff. Not sure what outdoor is, but uh, here comes Chase McDowell. All he has to do is not bottle it. This has been quite a stunning turn of events. And, uh, where's everybody else? I don't know if stayed out. John B just exiting the pits. <sighs> Blown his chance of winning with some stupidity because of pit road. Artificial stupidity for the win. Oh. Mm. But artificial intelligence looks like it's going to propel Chase McDowell to win over a carbon life form. Here comes the GOAT. I don't think he's gonna do it. I think it's gonna be Chase McDowell. Here he, there he goes. And uh, oh, what's happened to my voice? I don't know what's happened to my voice. My voice is going at this point. Absolutely gone. Brilliant win for Chase McDowell here at the Glen. Yeah, yeah. Stunner of a victory for the man. Man. Looks like the goat's gonna drive up to the side and congratulate him. Tell him, congratulation, Chase McDowell. You're a McDowell who can win races. You're welcome. I need coffee. The goat was fastest in practice, and surprisingly not the fastest in qualifying. John's speed was. Goat was fastest in happy hour, and, uh, well, second in the race. How about that? Chase McDowell wins today. Tommy Fatami, uh, uh, well, the Goat, Tommy Fatami, John Speed, Saki Dahana, Jack Dakota Jr., Kamonico, Ahidaka, RJ Sherry, and Riley Spurley, your top ten. Mommy Fatami, Isaac Carter, Ferg, Carl, and Brian Barker, Harris, McGill, David Vice, Mullah, Julia Dyer, Cleveland, uh, Julia Dyer, oh, Klein Bentner, James Saunders, and Matthew Flanagan. Rounding at the top 20. I miss Santa Kiel Tina. At least the whole Fire Emblem character name reference was pretty obvious. And, yep, 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 yeah. All those things and more. That's some more, eh? Ka Kalmes, Kalmes, Clive Winters, Bob and Flo, Ryan Herman. Oh, John Speed hitting the pit road wall. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Ryan Herman, Rupert Weissmuller, Derek Camel, Adam McDowell, uh, is anybody else gonna... I don't know. Chase Cooper, Constantine Von Bartley, and Evan Rudd, Bob Smith, Roy Farron, and Alfred Foster Jones finishing the race today. Oh, that's... Harrison McGuile's absolutely taken out as well. Well then. Okay. Steve Morgan retired, apparently. It's odd. Is what that is. Zemak... Zamak? Zamak. Zamak. Zach oh, that's that's Adam McDowell absolutely being taken out. Alfred Foster Jones caught up in the mess again. Nice. Anyways, Zach Mills was a lap down. Brendan Reed crashed out. Yep. Edward Thomas was two laps down. Tony Brown, Patrick Smith, and Alexander Cornish retired. At least a pace car won't be lonely. Chase McDowell shows some muscle at Watkins Glen. Next race, Mid-Ohio for the Mid-Ohio Challenge. Wow, that's a really great name. At least above 200 at the Glen. It sounds cooler. I guess. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 races left. 
in the season before we can even start thinking about uh, starting some new seasons. The F1 series will probably be over by then. So we should uh, really hurry up and get some of these races out. Wink, wink. Nod, nod. Steve Morgan is still leading the points. He's uh, 65 points in front of Sakata Honda. Riley Sproley actually tied with Sakata Honda, but uh, he's behind because three wins is better than zero. That's some basic math. Clyde Bentner's four for Carl and fifth. Brian Barker's six. Harrison. Harrison. Okay. Harrison McGowell's seventh. Julia Dyer eighth. Bob and Flubber ninth. For Nahi Daka tenth. Goat. Twenty fifth. Nice. Last place, Evan Rudd. Eric Monica is up to 34th. Good job, Eric Monica. Always fantastic. Yeah, I don't I don't know why nobody else is clapping. Probably because there's nobody else in the room. No, well. It's been Hannah Fuda. It's been a time and a half. An honor. And I will see you in the next video.